Hi, and welcome to this episode of Our Guest Is, presented by My East Coast Experience Media in partnership with RBC. Our Guest Is introduces us to a resilient group of people, typically called immigrants, but probably better described as entrepreneurs, community builders, and survivors. In each episode, we'll hear all about their journey to Atlantic Canada in their own words. Today, our guest is Shivani Demesia, an honoree of the 2022 Most Inspiring Immigrants in Atlantic Canada, a My East Coast Experience media initiative presented by RBC. Hi, Shivani. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Natalie. Thank you for having me over. Yeah. Great. You look so relaxed today. <laughs> I'm actually very nervous because like two kids, summer vacation, they're running behind. No? Yes. So I, I have a dog and I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to be like barking at home. So I, I sent the dog out. Oh, okay. For a baby, I guess. So, I, I, uh, I yeah. can't send my kids out in the rain. <laughs> yes, not, no. <laughs> or you can't put leashes on them either. I, I think people uh, frown on that sometimes. I wish I which, could. Yeah, you can do it with dogs. Right? Yeah. You remember, uh, uh, I, sorry, I don't know if you have kids, but when you have younger kids, uh, you put like... Uh, like a monkey bag on them. You must have yep. seen kids on the like leash kind of yep. thing. My brothers <laughs> used to make a lot of fun of it. Like, um, Shivani, you're putting your child on a leash like a dog. So. <laughs> but it's helpful, right? You know, yeah, I don't yes. have kids, but yeah, I've, I've seen those and I can, I can under, I have nephews and a niece. So I can understand yeah. that something like that would be pretty handy. It is uh, so pretty Shivani, helpful. I just want to, yeah. yeah, I just want to um, kind of tell the people who are listening and, and watching uh, just a little bit about you before we get started talking. So you came to Halifax in 2011 um, and you have a PR diploma from Fanshawe College, which is in Ontario. Is that Toronto? Yes, uh, not in Toronto, in Ontario, in London. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And in 2014, uh, you know, you were looking for a job. Mm -hmm. in the you know in the industry that you went to school for and you were having a uh, hi you were <laughs> some behind you. you were having some issues finding a job in the PR sectors and and then you you were applying for jobs in retail and you were struggling right to find a job even in that sector and it, you kind of felt broken do you want to talk a little bit about that uh, yes, like um, I did public relations before coming to Canada. I used to do a lot of anchoring and emceeing the shows. And I think I had good speaking skills. But uh, when I reached here, I was I was like this shy baby who was like who wanted to be in her own circle of brown people who are Indians. Or So I, I really wanted to be stuck there. And probably that was one of the reasons that uh, l landing a job was not easy for me. I did not understand mm -hmm. what networking means mm -hmm. for me. All my mom taught me was... Uh, uh, study 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 don't don't worry about anything else don't worry about cooking don't worry about this that all you have to do is be successful in your career and that can happen only if you're studying so she didn't teach me that you need to go out and talk to people and you need mm. to get references so I think that was one big drawback and that did not help me getting a job yeah, and I think your story is really relatable to really anyone, you know, whether you're an immigrant or someone who, you know, was born and raised in Canada, that it, it networking is kind of where you have to be right now. And it can be really challenging, especially for people who really don't want to talk to people or maybe a little shy or introverted, right? Yes, no matter yeah. what your background is. So yeah. you kind of went with that and took, you know, your own path. You carved your own path and created Shivani's Kitchen. Yes. And that was in 2014? It was in 2014. I started my business in 2014. I did have that public relations skill, so I did know how to open a social media page. And at that time, people were just, um, people were not understanding what social media is, like how mm -hmm. useful it can be. Whereas I understood what how helpful it can be. Yeah. So uh, probably that was my positive point. And I already had my cultural background of uh, cooking. So that again helped me with opening my business. Yeah, you had a bit of an advantage too I with your background and your advantage. education. Yes. Yeah. Isn't yeah. it funny that 2014, I mean, feels like last year, yes. uh, especially since we lost the last two years of being yes. social and having fun. Um, 
that social media wasn't as prevalent as it is now. There was probably no such thing as influencers in 2014, no, you know, no, it's and, not and here you are starting a business and, you know, and you know all about it. You're kind of like, yes. Mwahaha, yeah, yes. I know how to use this to yes. use it to my advantage. So do you want to talk about Shivani's Kitchen a little bit for people who may not know um, what you Yeah, offer? sure. No, Shivani's Kitchen just started with like my friend. Uh, she was moving to Toronto and I was sitting at Canada Game Center at, at the reception and she asked, came and asked me, can you make some food for my brother? And I said, sure, I'm anyways earning like a minimum wage doing nothing very depressed <laughs> like i'll make some extra money <laughs> and uh ten dollars a tiffin a ten dollars a meal literally he used to come and pick it up and i said sh- I, it was going good and then i think we started around in september and january i went to dominican so when i came back i lost him yeah he left and i was again very depressed that oh mm-hmm. i had one person who used to pay me fifty dollars a week and now he's gone too so I said, okay, there are more people probably like him. So let me open a Facebook page. And that's when I started Facebook page and Instagram. And uh, so all those things. I And then I I just got an amazing response. I, I still get calls from people. Shivani, do you do food delivery services? And I say, no, not, not, not anymore. <laughs> uh, I wish I was still doing that, <laughs> but uh, no, not anymore. And um, that's how the journey started. And uh, people saw interest in, uh, they liked my cooking. They asked for cooking classes. Mm-hmm. I think that was a major turn point when, pe- when I started doing cooking classes. When the first cooking class, two sh- people showed up. The second one person and the third no one showed up and uh, that and that was okay and then Mm. the food inspector came on my house and he said uh yes i still remember i I still i just started getting like five people in my cooking class like that was the limit five people and he came and he said you can't do cooking classes in your home (laughs) and uh, as like i just started getting five people (laughs) and you're coming and you're telling me i cannot do this and I, I cried. I, I yeah. literally, I was like, someone did a complaint. Someone doesn't like me. My life is over. Oh my <laughs> and, gosh. But then I cried the night. But then next morning, I, I woke up and I was like, okay, let me find some community kitchens. It wasn't easy, but I did find some community kitchen. And now from five people, it changed. I could increase the capacity to 12 people. Yeah. So it whatever happens, it happens for good. I did cry, but if I had not woke myself up and if I had yeah. not tried it again, I probably would have been still at Canada Game Center reception job. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, that's how the journey started. And when in, um, I opened my restaurant, I really wanted to open my franchisee business and mm-hmm. uh, like open my a lot of multiple restaurants. And I was just, uh, um, I just planned to open my second restaurant. I actually had signed the lease and then I went to Jamaica for a vacation. Mm-hmm. And I got a call on Friday from the seaport market that we you cannot operate anymore we are closing because of the pandemic and i right. my return flight was saturday i was like what are you saying and i the friday night was bad yeah. and then i had to do that two weeks quarantine yeah. luckily on the lease signature the second restaurant lease i had not paid any money up front i was like when i come back from jamaica i'll give you the money and that's how <laughs> i was saved i don't know what yeah. should i say so, but uh, that's how the it took turns, and I open like this is how the story of Shivani's Kitchen is. Yeah, I mean, but we could also go even a little further back and talk guess, about you know yes. what brought you to Atlantic Canada and, and and you know in Canada in general. Uh, my husband right now, but he was my boyfriend at that time. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like now you're on to your second husband. <laughs> uh, no, no. I, I'm, I'm still stuck with him. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I would let's let's talk about something else. Okay, so why did I come to Atlantic Canada? So, uh, yeah, he was working in Halifax, and uh, he was working in Halifax. And I, I'll be honest, 
so he came from U.S. to okay. Halifax, and he wasn't very happy in Halifax because he okay. was very underpaid. Yeah, and okay. he really wanted to move back to U.S. So we thought we'll get our PR, and that, this is a story of many immigrants. I'm telling, I I know this because the many immigrants think we'll get our PR and then we'll move to a bigger city, Toronto mm-hmm. or Vancouver or Calgary, and that's what our, our, we thought. We'll yeah. move outside. Um, and that's what we did. As soon as the P- we got our PR, we, we I called my one of my friends who, who works at ISIS and I said, oh, I'm moving to Calgary. And she said, no, you're not supposed to move. Halifax has just started to growing. True, and, yeah. And <laughs> I said, oh, okay. And, uh, <laughs> and, and then, I, then I just thought, okay, you know what, let's buy a house. And yeah. We'll, 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 because we now we have already adjusted to Halifax. We have friends over here. Maybe once, try it out for a little bit. Yes. And, and yes. like once, uh, like the people were so good and I went for a vacation in Toronto. I said, I need to go back to home to Halifax. This is too much crowded. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's how I made it home. In your experience in that in that moment, and then comparing it to, as you said, a lot of other immigrants feel like, okay, we'll start in this uh, small area and then move. Is that maybe because of a sense of community that in the bigger cities, there are more Indians, you know, there are more yeah. people that you can relate to and be- belong in a community? Do you feel like, you know, uh, that Atlantic Canada was a little bit of a question mark in, in that regard? Who's here? Yes, because if most of the immigrants, they come over here, they look for opportunities. They're mostly, not everyone is thinking about doing a business. Mm -hmm. Most of the, like I come from a middle class family. I have seen my dad always going nine to five job. I've Mm -hmm. seen my mom as a housewife. So that's what I thought. Like I will do a nine to five job and come home. And that's what most of the immigrants think business is a lot of risk yeah. and not everyone wants to take a risk and no one thinks about it but uh, um, uh, it's just about um, I think understanding what opportunity is here mm-hmm. I, I right now I tell people that this is the now I tell people this is the best time to live in Atlantic Canada because yeah you might get a I don't know, hundred fifty thousand dollar job in Vancouver, but uh, you'll probably have to drive for two hours to get to your mm-hmm. work. Huh? Stuck and in traffic for two hours, st- yeah. Stuck in traffic. <laughs> you move, if you have to meet your friend on a weekend, you're again traveling for one hour. Like yeah. my friends, like fifteen minutes, <laughs> ten minutes, <laughs> five minutes. So that's my, and um, and then you won't be able to like. And over here, there's not much competition right now, so yeah. you. Uh, there is a p- opportunity that you might I don't know you can open a trucking business you can mm-hmm. open an IT business you can so there are a lot of opportunities um, over here is just to understand oh this is an opportunity and I need to grab it yeah and that is back to that resilience part two of you know just gotta keep going and yes. you know and, and believe in yourself and, and what you can yeah. offer and and you know then I think that's a whole reason why my East Coast experience kind of exists is to keep people here and to, so that everyone can feel welcome and you know like they're part of the East yeah. Coast experience yeah yes. so back to kind of cooking uh, and and why you made you know Shivani's kitchen what it is um, was there a part in your childhood like any moment that you can remember where you were just like a light bulb went off and you were like I love this I want to do this so my first cousin I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the story. My first cousin, he's meeting me after 10 years. And the 10 years was before, because he met me in my marriage. So he, we are actually meeting after like 20 years, I think. How old am I? Yeah. So he still thinks that I'm like five-year-old baby. And he is shocked that Shivani, you cannot even, you could not even put butter on the bread. Okay. You could not boil water. How are you making this amazing food? So no, <laughs> I had no idea I could cook. <laughs> I did not like, 
I, I am so this is my first cousin he's meeting me after 15 years I'm very sure all my cousins so I don't have my own brothers and sister all my cousins they'll be equally shocked because I was very pampered I was the youngest and I used to like my family was all my relatives were here in Delhi and I used to live like 2000 kilometers away so whenever i used to come I, everyone used to shower love on me right so, like don't say anything to this child so that, that, <laughs> that kind of pamperedness so so no nothing related to cooking um the only thing was that i did see my mom cook and my aunt oh, my aunt makes amazing food mm-hmm. and i loved her food so, but I never thought that I can make that amazing food. I just wanted to take her home and she could make that amazing food for me. Yes. For free, right? <laughs> for free, yes. Right. <laughs> so there was no like light bulb moment, but you know, you, you learned from your mom and your aunt and, and then, you know, created. No, Shibani I always kitchen. wanted to marry a very rich husband. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> That did not happen. No, <laughs> no very rich husband and like going to, I don't know, is there, do you know what kitty parties are? No. Like, no. Something like going out with your girlfriends and playing bingo. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, and drinking wine. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's all I wanted to do. So, um, when you were looking for a career in PR and, and mm-hmm. you were trying to find work in that sector, um, how did that challenge, how did that experience affect you? Um, you know, clearly it created Shivani's kitchen, but it, at the moment, I know it like you've, you've said in the past that you felt broken when you couldn't find a job. Is there something, you know, just that how it challenged you and, and maybe some advice that you could give to someone feeling that way? I so I I life is full of challenges that's all I'm going to say and I, like even today I'm facing challenges tomorrow again I'll face some challenges I'm going to mm-hmm. cry again tomorrow and I cry all the time but uh, I wake up next morning and I and I let myself cry for 2 hours it's because then my my heart is like kind of empty and now I don't think about the sad part now I think about okay how can I I figure out a solution and I think that's how my whole life journey has been that uh, I learn from my mistakes Mm -hmm. and uh, if I if something is not working out I it's just that I feel that whatever happens happens for good yeah it's like that saying whatever Uh, happens it happens for a reason yes you know it happens for a reason I truly believe in it and um uh, yeah just don't give up that's that's all I that's all what I have been doing I do give up I'm, I'm telling you I, I give up I'm a human being mm-hmm. yeah? and I shout at my husband I shout at my brother but then after two hours I'm they're like okay Shivani now what's next <laughs> <laughs> out of everything that you create for Shivani's kitchen what's your favorite your favorite product favorite product are you allowed to say, say favorite? My- <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a very. The, I I was doing a podcast for Boston Pizza, and uh, oh, wow. I think I asked him that question. What is your favorite? And he said, "I'm not allowed to say what's my favorite." <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, no, I I love cooking, and I think the spice without which without which I cannot live is garam masala. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's my favorite spice. I can live without salt. But I cannot live without garam masala. It's like a beautiful spice and I use it in my every dish. Yeah. No, I, Indian yeah. food is so fragrant and so beautiful. And, to, you know, to eat it, to smell it is divine. So I, yeah. I'm looking forward to trying Shivani's Kitchen because I know you're, For sure. you know, what, you're located in like over 200 stores, correct? Yeah. yeah. We are in Sobe, Superstore. Uh, we are in some stores of US and we are trying to expand in Ontario and Vancouver too. So, oh, yes. Oh my goodness, with the little Nova Scotia flag on the side. <laughs> it is a little Nova Scotia. Now, we actually, I've made it a Canadian flag. Oh, okay, that's cool. Big, not just Nova Scotia, we are a Canadian company. That's and excellent. that's a very proud moment. Yeah. Yes. No, it's excellent. So, what's in the future for Shivani's Kitchen? I get ideas every day. Yeah. Um, the future is basically to expand all across North America in next 
two to three years. Mm -hmm. That's what my goal is Um, with my spices, with my ready to use sauces. And we are also coming launch. uh, So we also launched in February an Indian cheese called paneer. Mm -hmm. And I would really like to share this story with you guys because I have a lot of stories, so I need to share this (laughs) one. Uh, In 2012, when I was coming from... Uh, Toronto to Halifax I think this was the second or third time at that time Halifax had like zero Indian products yeah not many (laughs) Um, so what happened was I used to fill paneer in suitcase not clothes nothing (laughs) fill paneer and I used to bring from Toronto to here big big bricks and the people from Toronto they used to laugh at me like Shivani are you serious you're taking paneer from here I was like I can take anything I can probably take cauliflower also <laughs> because it was difficult yeah. and I remember that we used to go to Pete's Bedford because mm-hmm. that was the only place where you could find some Indian vegetables yeah but I'm proud to say that Yes, it took time. Uh, We are in 2022. So 10 years after Shivani's Kitchen started making their own paneer. So now people don't have to bring from Toronto to over here. So we have expanded our paneer all across Nova Scotia and some parts in New Brunswick. So that I'm really proud of. And uh, we are planning to start with ready to eat meals. So a lot of of things are coming up. And uh, I think... We are at the right path. And what about the future for you personally? Oh, future yes, for me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Immigrants stop working. Hmm. Okay. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Like, are you talking about retirement? Retirement, <laughs> family, you know, your hopes and dreams for the future. Fun I stuff, just, corny I stuff, crime. Cry- more crime stories is fun too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I really, uh, what about my future? I, I, I don't know. This is Shivani's Kitchen is actually my future. I've put everything in this. It's so hard sometimes, too, to think about future on a personal level. And especially because you are obviously a hardworking woman, um, you know, to think about almost like it's almost like being selfish or something. Like you can't think of yourself. You got to think of, you know, your your business, yeah. your family. So, yes. yeah. Yes, I know. No, I, I think uh, I could not spend a lot of time with my kids, but I would really like to give them <laughs> to me grandkids so that when I'm 60, I could take them to Disney <laughs> and I have lots of money at that time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what I would, I always imagine. Oh, when I'm 60, I'll be retired. I'll give all this pressure to my kids. <laughs> yeah. Do you have plans to pass it down to Shivani's kitchen yes. down to them. Excellent. And do, if everything keeps on working yeah. well. Do your kids uh, have a zest for cooking? Do they enjoy watching? No. no? Okay. <laughs> they hate what mama does. But you also do not really like it either. So. Yeah. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. But I, I do see entrepreneurship in them too. But they like, no, we are going to be what our dad does. What is that? Yeah, eight to, that? That's eight to four job. Yeah. And then time with kids. And then Saturday, Sunday is off. Then weekends are off. Yeah. Which I guess weekends. is okay too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the mommy is always working. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks, Shivani. I think we'll wrap it up yeah. there. It was such a pleasure to talk yeah. to you. And I, uh, you know, and like everyone, I'm sure listening and watching, if they haven't tried Shivani's kitchen products already, I mean, I'm going to go try some right now because right I could really now. use some butter chicken in my life and some tikka masala for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Both the sauces are available in Sobeys. Excellent. Thank you, Shivani. Thank you so much, Natalie. Thank you. And thanks to everyone who joined us for this episode of Our Guest Is. Uh, We will be back in two weeks with another very special guest. And if you don't want to miss an episode, make sure you subscribe. You can find us at myeastcoastexperience.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and YouTube. And be sure to follow My East Coast Experience online on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you for the next episode.